Warning, motorsport is a dangerous activity. The events you're about to see were filmed in a controlled environment under the supervision of professionals. Do not attempt to recreate or reenact anything you see on this show. Welcome back to Off-Road Addiction. We're back at Woodhill. This time we've got some side-by-sides to play with. We've got Jono down there in U87, which is Dyson Delahante's uh, race Polaris. It's a 1000 non-turbo. We've got Mike in his new YXZ 1000. And I'm testing out this brand new Polaris General and what a luxury machine it is. Hey, hey, wait, hey, hey! For this test we have used the Polaris Park, it is at the Woodhill Forest as you guys would have seen in past episodes. It's on the west coast of Auckland, New Zealand, it's 10 minutes away from home for us so when our trucks are running it's a regular spot. These tracks are just rutted out sand tracks, a lot of sand climbs that are loose. It's almost like a clay based sand isn't it, it's quite... Yeah, it packs down real hard. Yeah. It's, it's quite slick and slippery when it's raining in some spots, in other spots it the water just drains straight away. How's it going guys, Mike Small here from UTV NZ and Dirt Rider. We've got the Mighty 1000 YXZ from Yamaha. This is my new side-by-side. -side. I've had three others in the past and I've gone to Yamaha now with the sequential manual gearbox. It comes out with diff lock and it comes out with two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. It's a brilliant machine and I love smashing gears. Well, we've been for our first little drive. First thoughts? It's plush, it's luxury, the seats are comfortable, it's got a great stereo system in it. It's got high and low, it's got two and four wheel drive. These factory alloy wheels, comes on mud tires. It's got wicked Fox shocks under here. Hidden away in here is a Polaris winch. Now this factory option, the free spool's nice and easy to get to, as long as you're not buried up to your axles. And it's all pre-wired in the dash and out on a switch. It's got a tilt tray on the back, so it's perfect for getting around the farm, perfect for hunting, perfect for fishing, and then you can come out and do recreational full driving with your mates. It's got the 1,000cc motor in it, and it gets up boogies. It goes really well, and it's a great machine. I can't fault it. It handles nice, it drives nice, it soaks up the bumps, and it's what you want in a play toy.
Now, I've been racing these um, side-by-sides in New Zealand for four years now. I come from ATV racing and, and broke myself. I've broken over 40 bones, so my surgeon told me no more racing, so I turned around and bought one of these and never looked back. It's the fastest growing motorsport in New Zealand at the moment, and we've now had to split up into two classes. This is Dyson Delahunte's U-Class vehicle, U meaning it's a standard uh, UTV in the race series and S-Class is the other class of racing we do, which is modified vehicles in the U. And this is currently running at the top end of the points. I think he's number one in New Zealand at the moment in new class. He's a young, new driver, he's a brilliant young guy, and it's bringing new blood into our sport. This 2015 model comes out with high-low ratio gearbox, CVT transmission, easy access to it. It comes out with a belt drive in here. It's only five minutes to replace a belt if you do break one. They're a good strong wagon. I've done over 10,000 kilometres racing in these things and I absolutely love them. This one here has been slightly modified. It's got a couple of extra bars for safety as we do in all our class racing and it's got some aftermarket shocks just to give it a, that little bit more of an edge over its competition. Running a 28.5 on a beadlock 15 inch wheel, they run massive brakes. They're an awesome machine to drive whether you're just going hunting, you're going fishing up the beach or you want to go out trail riding with your mates. Turn around and get a demo of one of these things, you'll never look back. G'day, my name is uh, John O'Climo. <coughs> I uh, normally race a twin turbo Toyota Hilux known as Disturbe 869, formerly in uh, Kumo colours. We are changing to Nitto this year and here on in. Today I've been uh, lucky enough to be chosen as a driver for testing this uh, Polaris here, which is thanks to Dyson and Polaris New Zealand for using. It's not something that I, um, I'm out of my comfort level basically. Uh, from a big almost 800 horsepower truck to, to a Polaris A and it's quite nice to be able to jump into another, another machine, especially one that we race against, just to see where their weaknesses and their strengths are. And straight away you can see going from a larger vehicle to a, a more compact and more nimble vehicle, although they're lacking hugely on horsepower compared to my Class 8 machine, their strengths are awesome. You know? When you see them beating Class 1s, Class 8s, you can see where they do it. Having a driver one is excellent. It really does sort of uh, give you a, a complete understanding of um, why they do go so well. So we've reached the end of the day here at the Polaris Park and I've been cruising around in the general most of the day. I've really loved it, I've really enjoyed it. Unfortunately Paul couldn't make it, he's just had his uh, new baby boy so we've got a new team member now in off-road addiction and uh, we're looking forward to seeing the young fella grow up. So Paul's going to be with us for the second half of the episode with the Yamaha YXZs. We're going to bring them out again next weekend. It's going to be great. What an awesome day up here at the Polaris Park, up here in Paradise. We've been out here today in the mighty Polaris XP1000, the RZR, the awesome General, the new release General. That surprised me, that's a wicked piece of machinery, and the YXZ in the background. We're out here doing some hill climbs, some race tracks, and just generally playing around for the day with good mate Jono and the team from Off-Road Addiction. I absolutely love this place and love these machines. If you're at home in the weekend and you're bored, 
get on down to your Polaris or your Yamaha dealer and ask for a demo, you can't go wrong. And with everyone swapping from dirt bikes to side by sides, this scene is only growing. So I found Paul, uh, dragged him out of bed and uh, away from his little bubba. Well, Actually, thanks. no, brought the baby along. Yeah, he brought the baby along. It's a solid, solid effort. We've got a future four-wheel driver on our hands. It's Sunday now. Yesterday, we were out at the Polaris four-wheel drive park, uh, testing out the General, the RZR, and the YXZ with Mike and Jono. We've uh, just been up and down our local beach, which is actually a public road. It's Mirawai Beach. It's a beautiful spot. And uh, I thought I'd better give Paul a drive of the General before we take you back. I've had a ball. Uh, I've driven the Rangers, and the General was that gap between the RZR and the Ranger, and that General she boogies. That definitely um, shows Caleb how to go fast. Yep, yep, no, we were driving along in the RZR, and I've got to say they're pretty much on par. Uh, he's a lot cleaner than me, so I think if you're after the more luxury ride and you don't want to get dirty, the General's the way to go. And I've got to say thanks to Polaris New Zealand for lending us this beautiful General and the RZR behind us. Thanks, guys. We had an absolute blast yesterday with Jono and Mike, and it'll be good to have Paul back in the saddle next week. Right, so we're back at Woodhill. I've dragged Paul out the house again. We've got this brand spanking Yamaha YXZ. Uh, Yamaha New Zealand and Joel Giddy's given us his YXZ 1000R. So this is pure race, but it's factory out the box. So nothing's been touched, it's only had about six hours on the clock. General thoughts so far? I really like it, yeah. It goes like a cut cat, it really does. It sounds like a super bike. Yeah, it sounds good. I mean the Polaris is easy, you just whack it into gear and, and you're off. Whereas this one you're constantly... It's more of a driver's yeah. side by side, yeah. You're constantly involved, you got the clutch to take off and then you're banging through the gears. I really like it. This is a 2016 YXZ, it's got a manual sequential gearbox the first side-by-side -side to come out with the sequential gearbox. Comes out with these awesome 2.5 inch Fox shocks. It's got a diff lock in it. It's an amazing vehicle. We've been up on the hill climbs and doing all sorts of stuff. I absolutely love this machine. I'm hooked. Got my bobble head on again, got my nice gloves on, and this sucker, I don't know how, but he, he's game enough to jump in the passenger seat with my driving. So Harnesses, boy. Could be it, I still wouldn't feel safe. Roll cage. <laughs> I still wouldn't feel safe, but hey, he's in here. So we've been doing some hill climbs. Initial thoughts of the vehicle, it's, it's quick, it's nimble, much like the Polaris, uh, but this is manual with a sequential gearbox. So you feel a little bit more involved when you're driving it, you're banging the gears around. And I really like it so far. So we're lined up here. We're gonna go do some trail riding now. We've done some hill climbs. Managed to not scare him out of the passenger seat yet. My turn comes, mate, don't worry. I might walk. It's That's probably safer. Fun. Power to weight ratio will go up humongously. If I um, get out, you'll get more horsepower. That's a proven fact. Let's do it then. Let's roll. Don't stall it.
Well, that's us. We've uh, been there, done that, tested all the units. I'm still alive. It's the main bonus. Still whinges. Man, sand in my eyes, shoulders are sore. No, we've been out there and we've um, put them all through the paces. If you're new to getting one of these UTVs, the Polaris is the way to go. Especially, like, I struggled a little bit uh, with the clutch in this. Nothing bad, it was just, you need the bike mentality to drive these, you know, you've got it's to stop the clutch and stuff like that. Whereas the Polaris is probably a bit more friendly where you jump in, whack it in gear and, and you're off. This is great fun. Um, I really enjoyed zipping around the track, banging the gears and you really feel like you're actually driving it. The sound of this thing is magic. In a big wide open, like fast grass track, hands down I'd have this. Recreational full driving, I'd go Polaris, Azida, definitely. I don't know, I'd go to general. From the point of view that if you you got the winch, you got the sounds, and you got that little tip tray, if you want to put your air ski on the back or your no, cooler on the back. I really enjoyed the general. I mean, all these vehicles are different. The Azida was race prepped. Mm. This one is completely stock standard out the box. But aimed towards racing again. Yep, and the Polaris general was completely stock standard out the box as well. But the General, as I've said before, had the luxuries. It had the stereo, the comfy seats. I've got to say, these things are really comfy seats. Oh yeah. Um, you felt safe in this. This had the harnesses, yep. has the bucket seats, you know, and grab handles, adjustable. Yep, sure. There's a bit of storage on the back. Same with the RZR, nothing quite like the General. The General's where it's at for putting your uh, ice box in the back and, you know, put, put your camping gear in and you could quite easily go for a night's camping without a problem. But overall, I don't think I have a winner. I, I don't think that I have a favourite. I'd have a stable of them all and just what quite I was doing happily. for the day, I'd take. I'd quite happily do that. us for another episode of Off-Road Addiction. We've had a blast testing these UTVs out. It's something a little bit different for us. So, got my main man over here. He's having a bit of a clean up. We sprayed some motor muck on it to make the job a bit easier. It's an absolutely magic product. You spray it on, leave it on for 10 minutes, hose it off. Most of the dirt just straight to the ground. So, that's enough from us. We'll catch you on the next episode. It's gonna be another good one, and we're looking forward to it. Make sure you subscribe to our channels and keep up to date with all the action. There is much more to come, so don't miss out.